So if you're watching this video, you're one of the smart people who thought to yourself while playing Rise of the Tomb Raider, there's a big bush in front of me, and there's a tunnel behind it, clearly I need to burn it somehow or destroy it so that I can get through and find whatever's in that tunnel. And you might have even gone on your map like I did, and if you've got the information on your map showing you where all the relics and collectibles are, you'll see something in the general area and there only seems to be one way to find it, through that thorny bush. Well, I'm here to tell you, unfortunately, you can't get through the bushes. Um, apparently, I mean, I've looked this up so that I can basically share this knowledge with everyone else because it drove me crazy and it seems ridiculous. So obviously it's probably driving you crazy as well. The bushes are actually there as a spawn point for animals. So things like wolves will come out of the bushes so that they don't just appear out of nowhere in front of you. Um, yes, you can see like little cave bits behind the bushes, but there's nothing there. It's basically so that it doesn't look like a brick wall with a bush in front of it. And then, you know, it wouldn't make any sense for like a wolf to come out of a brick wall with a bush in front of it, would it? It makes sense to kind of put like a little bit of a cave behind it so it looks realistic. Well, I say realistic. I mean, how realistic is it that there's just big thorny bushes that you can't you know, destroy or burn through when you can actually destroy much bigger things and you have guns and explosives and stuff. So apparently the concentration of these bushes and strange little areas are mainly in the Siberia part of the game. And there was uh, bushes in the previous game, uh, Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, that you couldn't get through either. Um, but I had to search online and go through all these forums and stuff and f just fart about. It was ridiculous. And it makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. The first thing you do when you see a bush like that is, how do I get through? It's a game about exploration and finding stuff, right? I mean, you spend so much time in the game looking for things and uh, that aren't obvious and you've got to try and find a crack in the wall and then go through it to find a tomb and stuff. So a big massive bush that looks really, like, obvious, you'd think would be easy to burn down, but obviously not. So I just wanted to make this quick video and put it out there for whoever does the same thing as I did and be completely confused, feel like you're missing out on part of the game because you can't get past these bushes. Unfortunately, there's nothing on the other side of them and you can't destroy them at all. Um, it's disappointing, I know. Uh, I'm not happy about it. I feel like it kind of cheapens the game a little bit and the game is brilliant. I'm really enjoying it. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm sorry to have to say, but I thought, you know, it's much easier for people to just type in how do you destroy this bush and find this video and find out the truth rather than having to go through a bunch of forums and shit like I did to, uh, to find out the truth. So yeah, I hope this helped you out guys. Um, it is disappointing, I'm afraid, but you know, at least... I've put this video up so that people can quickly and easily find out that there's nothing behind there and you know, let, you, I don't want you to waste your time like I did spending ages just looking around bushes trying to figure out a way to burn them or whatever. So uh, please give me a thumbs up if uh, you found this helpful. Um, obviously I'm not in control of the game so if you're disappointed like I am please don't give me a thumbs down just because the people who made the game made a mistake. Um, and check out my other videos and subscribe if you want to find out more little helpful handy hints and tips. I tend to put a video up whenever I find something interesting and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.